Okay, so problem number one says grass clippings are placed in a bin. So grass clippings, that's an amount. So we'll make a note of that. So I've got some amount of grass. That's an amount. Where they decompose. So the amount of grass is going down. Time is 0 to 30. The amount of grass clippings, amount of grass clippings, remaining in the bin. So it's got grass in the bin, the bin goes down. The amount that is in the bin is this formula. So the formula tells me at any time how much grass is in the bin. Measured in pounds, time is measured in days. Okay. Find the average rate of change of A. Find the average rate of change of A. That means determine, on average, how fast is A changing from this time to this time. You know it's an average rate of change because it's over a time interval instantaneous rate of change would be at a given time. And then we're supposed to have units. So, remembering my golden notes, average rate of change is right here. Simply determining on average how fast something is changing. So go back to the problem. That's what I do. So I go and find how much grass is in the bin on day 30. It turned out to be 0.783 pounds, just using my calculator. I subtract from that how much is in the bin on day 0. So, of course, there was a lot more on day 0, 6.6 .6 pounds, than there is on day 30 because the grass is decomposing. So, then I divide that by the time period. That tells me, on average, I'm losing 0.197 pounds per day. Uh, the best way to do this is to leave it as this green box. You really shouldn't leave it. Uh, this is a bit of an error, we should fix this. Can't leave it with the function notation, so we'll get rid of that box. You need to have it so it's not or, it has to be that. So we'll leave that one. So it has to be this green box, we have to show the numbers. Can't leave it as function notation. Uh, make sure you say pounds per day. You have the entire green box, including the units, you get one point. So one total point for this problem.